Hello and welcome to Point of View. In a major leap for Chinese rocket program, the new re-entry video from a recent long march to de-launch shows grid fins in action. On May 20, 2024, the long march to de-carrier rocket successfully sent the Beijing 3C satellite constellation into the predetermined orbit at the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center, and the launch mission was a complete success. The rocket was equipped with a grid rudder, landing area control system, which successfully completed a series of actions, such as unlocking deployment control command rotation during the re-entry phase of the first stage of the rocket, and successfully achieved precise landing area control again, ensuring the safety of the landing area environment. So far, the grid rudder control system developed by Shanghai Aerospace has successfully completed five flight tests. In November 3, 2019 the grid rudder system was successfully launched in China for the first time on the long march for B rocket at the Taiyuan Satellite Launch Center, achieving the designed goal of reducing the landing area of the first stage debris by 85%. The first flight test was a complete success. On September 21, 2020, the grid rudder system successfully completed its second flight verification test on the Long March for B rocket and used a grid rudder surface recovered during the first flight mission, becoming the first reusable rocket product on a domestic launch vehicle. On October 14, 2021, the grid rudder system was carried out on the Long March to D rocket for the third flight test. This flight test was the first time that the Long March to de used the first stage grid rudder landing area control system, which fully verified the versatility and reliability of the grid rudder. On July 21, 2023, the grid rudder system carried out its fourth flight test on a Long March to de rocket, further verifying the maturity and reliability of the system, and more recently, on May 20. 2020 for the grid rudder system was carried on the long march to de rocket and conducted its fifth flight test. This time, the grid rudder adopted a swept back rudder surface with the entire rudder surface bent backward, which had a significant drag reduction effect and further improved the attitude control capability of the grid rudder. In addition, a pneumatic pin puller was used for the first time to realize the connection unlocking function, laying the foundation for the subsequent application of reusable launch vehicles. While successfully completing the flight test mission, the research and development team insisted on iterative product optimization, aiming to form applicable and reliable universal shelf products and promote their use in multiple models, contributing wisdom and strength to the launch vehicles precise landing area control and improved landing area environmental safety. Grid fins play a crucial role in the successful recovery and reuse of orbital rockets. These aerodynamic control surfaces are mounted near the top of the rocket's first stage and are essential for guiding the rocket back to its designated landing site after stage separation. Unlike traditional fins, grid fins are a lattice structure which provides a unique combination of strength, low weight, and minimal drag when not in use. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. The primary function of grid fins is to provide aerodynamic stability and control during the rocket's descent. After the rocket's main engines cut off and the first stage begins its return journey, the grid fins deploy to steer the rocket through the atmosphere. They adjust their angle to manage the rocket's orientation and trajectory, enabling precise control during high-speed re-entry. This precision is critical for aligning the rocket with its intended landing zone, whether it's a ground-based pad or a floating drone ship at sea. Grid fins are significant because they enhance the accuracy of the landing process, which is vital for the reuse of rocket components. By allowing for precise control, Grid fins minimize the risk of the rocket deviating from its path and ensure it can land safely and intact. This capability reduces the overall cost of space missions 
by enabling the reuse of rocket stages, which historically were discarded after a single use. The reusability of rockets is a key factor in making space exploration more cost-effective and sustainable. SpaceX was the first company to successfully utilize grid fins on an orbital rocket, marking a significant milestone in aerospace engineering. They first implemented grid fins on the Falcon 9 rocket. The debut of this technology was a part of SpaceX's broader strategy to develop fully reusable rockets, significantly lowering the cost of access to space. The grid fins on the Falcon 9 have been instrumental in numerous successful landings, both on land and at sea, proving their efficacy and reliability. China aims to develop grid fin technology to enhance the precision and reusability of its orbital rockets, aligning with global advancements in aerospace engineering by incorporating grid fins. China seeks to achieve more accurate landings, reduce the cost of space missions, and increase the sustainability of its space program. This technological advancement will enable China to reuse rocket stages more efficiently, similar to SpaceX's approach, ultimately bolstering its capabilities in space exploration and satellite deployment. The successful implementation of grid fins will mark a significant leap in China's space endeavors, positioning it as a formidable competitor in the increasingly dynamic field of orbital flights. Well, that's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.